female workers lying on the cutting machine convulsions. Helmet was a blade chopped in half, just then a worker was in time to close the machine, which avoided the tragedy. At this time the girl began to spit blood foam, sent to the hospital, but she did not cooperate with the doctor's medical treatment. The doctor had no choice but to give her a sedative injection. Through the examination, but found that the girl's body did not have any abnormalities. Doctors intended to notify her parents to take her home, but the girl claimed that her parents were dead. The doctor looked at the MRI and saw that when the girl answered the questions, she was thinking with the limbic part of her brain, which meant that she was lying. The doctor directly exposed her lies, but the girl not only did not stop but also scolded her parents to go to hell because her father was an animal and her mother would only stand by and watch. The doctors had no choice but to keep her for a while. The next day, they found that the girl's urine was dark brown, and Dr. House concluded that the girl had inhaled heavy metals for a long time at the factory, which caused the convulsions and the discoloration of her urine. But just as the doctor finished removing the heavy metals, the girl's convulsions became more severe. The doctor immediately did a full body checkup and this time found that the girl had leukemia. House then reacted to the fact that some elements in the heavy metals can suppress leukemia, and now the heavy metals in the girl's body were removed leading to a direct onset of leukemia. Doctors confirmed through a brain biopsy that the girl needed a bone marrow transplant immediately, and only her father can give her a bone marrow transplant. However, the girl was adamant that she didn't agree, as she hated her father and didn't think he was worthy of giving her a bone marrow transplant. But as life was at stake, the doctor came to the girl's home secretly. She informed her father that her daughter had leukemia and needed a transplant immediately. However, the man was dumbfounded. My daughter has always been next to me. How can she have leukemia? The doctor finally realized that he had been liked by the girl. All the girl's words were lies. The doctor didn't know why the girl was slandering her parents. However, the girl kept her mouth shut. House decided to meet the girl in person. And with some coaxing, the girl told him the truth. A few years ago, when she and her brother were fighting, she accidentally killed him. Since then, every time her parents saw her, their eyes revealed only resentment. That's why she ran away from home and faked her identity. She didn't want to get back at her parents. She wanted to get back at herself for them. She blamed herself so much that she couldn't face asking her parents to give her a bone marrow transplant. How sympathizes with her and says that if you don't accept their bone marrow donation, you'll be killing their other child. The only thing you can do now is to prevent things from getting worse. The girl was so touched by House's words that her parents arrived at the hospital the next day and cried when they saw their child who was suffering from a terrible disease. In the end, the girl was overcome with love and survived with a bone marrow transplant from her father.